him, I got a cough, no, turn your head. And what he was doing, he was taking like a very soft gauze and he was touching parts of my leg. And he says, I want you to tell me when you feel this. I felt every one of them. I mean, I got feeling down there. But even without looking, he would brush up against it and I would feel it. Why? It's my brain. Even watch this. Right arm. Raise up. Touch your head. See, it works, doesn't it? I can do it again. I can do it again. My brain is communicating with my right arm. What about my left arm? My brain's communicating with my left arm. Okay, do that. And it's doing that, all right? My brain is doing all that. My brain is communicating with all the areas of the body. How does that work? Here we go. Take a look at this. That spinal column at every bone, all 33, you have a bundle of nerves. One comes out on the right side. One comes out on the left side. So you have 33 bones, 33 nerve bundles coming out of the 33 bones of your spine. One comes to the right, one comes to the left. Do the math. 33 on the left side, 33 on the right side. What do you have? 66. How does God, the head, Jesus, communicate with the body? 66 nerve bundles. Some on the left, some on the right. I love this. How do those, what, what does it use? Does it use sonar? Does it use microwaves? Does it use internet? Kinda. Kinda does. Internet is basically a series of electronic pulses at high speeds sending out a code of zeros and ones. Your spinal cord operates pretty much the same way electrical impulses, electrical impulses whereby the brain sends impulses down to the body. The body then directs, or excuse me, the spinal cord then directs that down to the right place. I, I'm, I'm watching my newest grandson 